It's like nothing even happened. What's up, y'all? Trey B. Dippin in the building. You know what time it is. So, basically, I'm on the journey to get the prelude back right, man. So, um, one thing that you guys will miss that I didn't wasn't able to get on camera was um, I did need a bumper and a trunk. And I needed to go to the local junkyard, pick a part uh, to get it. So, basically, um, I did miss that part. I couldn't record it. Uh, junkyards are real, real weird about bringing cameras in there. And by the time you bring all your tools and stuff anyway, it's kind of like inconvenient unless I have somebody with me to help film. And then I was going to do it with my phone. But then I was just like, you know what? You know what I mean? So I do have the trunk. Um, and I do have the bumper. I already dropped it off at the shop. Uh, well, I'm in my new shop now. I have to go to my old shop where it, I'm getting the body work done. Um, the only thing he needed was a driver's side taillight. And I did have a few extras, but I didn't have any at the house. So my shop is about 45, 30, 35 minutes from my house where I live. Um, and I didn't want to drive all the way back here just to get the tail light. So I was actually already here today working on a project. So I grabbed my spare uh, tail light that I had. He needs it to finish the body work. So with that being said, I'm going to throw this bad boy in the whip. And we're going to head over there and let him get it done, man. You know what I mean? Back at it again. So, oh yeah. So he already got the the replacement bumper and the replacement trunk back on for some reason i don't know why but <laughs> yeah i like it <laughs> red ass i call this the baboon <laughs> i'm gonna start a trend i'm just call this paint job the baboon but yeah man he got uh he got a lot of work done since i dropped it off he got the main um dent that was pushed in he got that somewhat straightened out and he said he's got you know a lot more work to do obviously um i brought that tail light for him so that he can take this one off and put the other one on just in case this one's damaged is gonna keep him from getting in the line perfectly but um to be honest man it looks looks really good already man really good already so this is what it looks like now i'll probably in the next clip show y'all how far he's gotten hey all right so obviously it's the next clip, you know what I'm saying? And it's also the next day, or two days after, I think, the last clip. Anyway, it's not important. What is important is, hey, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Dennis did an amazing job. Um, I didn't, I wanted to get him on camera, but between me being at my shop and the hours that he was working on this thing, all I had time to do was pick it up, get the key, and then, yeah, so I was busy. Busy, busy, busy while it was going on. I wasn't able to film any of the body work, but I can show you the result. So it looks like nothing even happened, bro. So let me show you what it looks like. And then, uh, actually, I'm headed to Mugen Ray, a.k.a. Master Mugen Lou. You know what I'm saying? We're going to head over his crib, the secondary Prelude headquarters. And uh, we're going to probably going to clean this thing up. But check this out. Look at that, bro. It's like nothing even happened. That is crazy. Well, except for... Nani? Except for that. I'm going to have to repair that. But other than that, man, so what I did was, obviously, I think I said it earlier in another clip. Um, but, yeah, I got the this whole bumper was new or new to me, replaced. The trunk was replaced. So, pretty much now, um, I just need to clean it up and uh, decide whether or not I'm going to keep this color or do a new color. I'm leaning towards a new color there, man. You know, new beginnings, new starts. But I'm glad, I'm glad that I got it back, man, and it's not damaged anymore. It's, it's a good feeling. It's a really good feeling. But yeah, with that being said, I'm going to head over to Lou's house. 
we're going to see what he's been up to. And uh, I'll see y'all when we get there. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh, look what we have here. Mr. Wu-Tang Clan himself. Like that, like that Wu-Tang. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, man. Look at you back in the whip. Yeah. Wait a minute. Good, man. I'm getting old, man. I got to take my time getting out this car. That looks uh, good. Right? Oh, yeah. Like nothing good, ever happened. Good job, yeah. Nothing ever happened. Hey, I mean, except the tail lights busted this shit. What's up, man? Chill. I like that. <laughs> my dad for my bro. Yeah, man. You know, my, my shirt matches with them kicks, bro. You want them? Damn, I don't know. I got size nines. I'm not. I don't know. Is it like. 11s? 12s? I think 11 and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just throw an yeah. extra pair of socks on, you know what I'm saying? Feels goody. Chilling, man. What you doing? Finally got this thing back. But yeah, welcome to the Prelude Headquarters 2.0. You know what I'm saying? Take your pick. All four for gens, of course. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can't. You got the hood open on the blue joint. Hey, you know me. Stop acting a fool. You know me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you keeping count of the preludes? You missing one. One more. They're all the good side. Oh yeah. Dirty as hell. Be washed. You need to wash this joint. <laughs> it's dirty, but it's still mac clean. Nah, it's clean. I was just fucking with you. Let me record that last video. Which one? The original Mugen joint. Oh, that was like a year and a half. Yeah. Year and a I mean, half. I've been over here plenty of times since then, but yeah. this is the last time on video that I've been here. Yeah. Ever? Yeah. I was like, People still asking, where's part two? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to have to go to his channel to see part two. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's going to have to be recorded, too. Where is it going to be at? Right here? What's that? What's the name of your channel? Oh, The Dark Rican. Yes, sir. You heard him. The Dark Rican. The yeah. Dark Rican. I'll put the little joint right here, and then I'll put it in the description, too. Hell yeah. So go subscribe. It's part two for the Mugen. That love. Fourth gen gang. <laughs> As you can see, got it all cleaned up, nice and tight, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much ready for some auto flex, you heard me. But uh, one of the things I had on my list, uh, shout out to my boy Nate. Um, he actually let me borrow um, his S300, and I had it for like two months. It's time to give it back. I should have been, took care of it. So what I did was I ordered uh, a socketed uh, ECU that's prepped for uh, the S300 chip. So I'm going to show you what I got going on. Uh, this was my old one, um, shorted out. I think a capacitor or something went out. Um, but my S300 itself was still good. So he let me borrow his, and I just swapped my chip to this one and swapped his chip to this one. Um, but I got to give his back. So this is the new one, a uh, little carbon fiber setup, you know what I'm saying? I didn't order uh, anything special. I just ordered a, a P28 pretty much ECU ready to swap over the chip. So let me get these covers off and then I'll switch everything up. All right, so basically 
literally all I have to do is, it's as easy as this. If you've never opened up S300 before, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. You do want to be gentle, but essentially this is the actual S300. This is just the ECU, but this is the actual S300. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my S300, putting it in the new ECU. There's pins on the bottom. These pins line up with these pins. It's pretty simple. Just take your time, be gentle. Breaking that. Push down firm, make sure it's seated flush. And now this is the S300 that was in the ECU he let me borrow. So I'm just swapping this back over. So this ECU is pretty much trash. So I'm getting rid of this one. This one's going back to my boy Nate. And this one is going in the car. All right, so I got the, the new ECU in there. Let me just make sure that uh, everything is copacetic. Make sure this bad boy still starts up. And for those of you who don't know, the S300 chip itself is what stores the tune. So if you switch it to a new ECU, the tune is still the same. So. monstrous you know what I'm saying I might have to do a little bit more uh, street tuning because now that it's colder uh, the air ratio is a little different so I think I need to kind of retune it again I still got to get fully tuned but I mean as far as just like driving around yeah buddy What you think? Quiet. <laughs> you said it's quiet? Fire. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Well, appreciate y'all coming to watch the video, hanging out. Uh, even though it's getting colder, me and my man Lou gonna have some, we got some fire coming. Straight heat. So make sure you go subscribe to his channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, hit that like button. And you see that right there? That's the subscribe button. Click that, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.